in the last episode, I talked about anxiety mostly. So because we are trying to change our lives, we need to do things that take us from one place to another. Things that make us leave our comfort zones. This is what I did during the last few days. Okay, so that day I experienced a little bit of the life I want, or at least that's where I thought. I was able to go to the gym, go to the mall to take care of some things, buy gifts for people that I love with the money of my work, and I've discovered that I'm a huge gift giver, like, like it's one of my love languages. And then I got to go to my boyfriend's house to spend some quality time with him. At that moment, I was thinking, wow, imagine if my life was like this. And then I realized, it is. I went to train at the gym that I worked to be able to afford. I was able to save money and buy gifts for my family. I then hopped on a subway with this little taste of independence and literally traveled the city just to be with the people I love. In all fairness, we both know that this is far from being my daily routine. I hadn't been to the mall in months. But the point that I'm trying to make is that we do not enjoy the journey enough. I remember the days when my ultimate dream was to be able to afford a gym membership. It was like living in the back of my mind constantly. I'd train every single day in my living room, going up and down the fire escape stairs, thinking that once I got my gym membership, then my life would be set. I started making my own money and paying for the gym membership, and then suddenly it wasn't enough anymore. I now want to take swimming lessons and boxing lessons. I want to buy proper gear to start running. And for all that, I need money. I need to do more work. Hence, I'm not happy now and so on. It's very easy for us to continually chase the next goal, but happiness isn't found on the next rung of the ladder, it's created in the here and now. I do know it's cringe to say that mindset matters, but it does. I'm not saying it's the only thing that matters, I just think that I'm trying to say that in acknowledging the various moments in my life that reflect the rewards of my journey, I stop focusing solely on the destination, which just ends up becoming a mere consequence. I am not living in the destination day to day. The destination is a specific moment in time and at the immediate second after reaching that specific destination, my mind has already created new ones. So when do I get to enjoy living?